Yeah, and that uh, is a good dovetail to answering Skunk's question. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, as far as risk of failure, there's always risk of failure. Mm-hmm. But it depends on how you classify failure. Because it's one of the things that I often harp on um, normalizing failing, normalizing making mistakes. Mm-hmm. We, we often look at making mistakes as this like death of whatever it is that we're doing. Like I screwed that up. It's never going to work now. No, it doesn't work that way. When it, it, even when it, for something as simple as, or not even simple because book publishing is more complicated than it seems. Um, you write a book, you go through the steps of publishing a book, whether or not it has mistakes, typos, formatting issues, whatnot, you have created something that is now out in the world. Even if one person buys it. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a failure. Yeah. That is a success. So mm-hmm. it's all in how you look at things. Um, uh, to failure. be flat honest, uh, Tales of Halcyon doesn't sell very well. My first trilogy doesn't sell very well. The few people that have bought it thought it was whimsically wonderful and a lot of fun to read but it doesn't sell well. I don't consider it a failure. No, failure failure starts in the mind. Mm-hmm. Failure, for anybody out there, failure starts in the mind. And if you think to yourself, I can't do this, I don't have the time to, I, it's, I, I, tell, I tell my kids, can't is a bad word. We don't say, dude, and my, my, my kids say, my kids say some things, they're my, they're my kids. <laughs> can't is a bad word. I can't, no. Uh uh-uh. uh, I I I will no, you you don't say that, you don't say you can't, okay? You say okay, I have to figure out a different way to do this. That's fine. That's acceptable, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe your approach, maybe you're approaching it from the wrong. Can't is a bad word. Failure happens in the mind first, and you cannot give into it. You can't. It is so absolutely detrimental to anything that you want to build. And the truth of the matter is, yeah. you are your own worst enemy. Oh, one hundred percent. Because, yeah, fear of failure is literally just in your head. Um, yeah. It it does like there's what is it called? Oh my god! No, the the title of the book is blown out of my brain. Something like Amish zombies in space <laughs> is the title of a legitimately published book on Amazon. Look it up. <laughs> it exists. Just by the title alone. You to mark? If they can do no, it. No, I'm just you. saying. It, <laughs> no. it exists. If it exists, whatever strange idea you have should exist too. So Fair enough. If you have yeah. it, make it. Yeah. Yeah, and then with writers too, like just just having a backlog, even mm-hmm. if it's kind of a quiet backlog, is is valuable mm-hmm. um, because someone mm-hmm. may pick up you know books ten, eleven, and twelve uh, uh, that you've written, you're, you're like your fourth series or something like that, and and enjoy it, and then they say, oh, I want more, and they go back and they buy the rest, or you know, yep. talking to their friends like, oh yeah, I read these, I haven't read the old books yet, but you know, I'm gonna get to them or whatever. Happens all um, the time. Yeah. So, and then just the practice of getting it out. Like I I am much more proficient at getting through the process at this point uh, than <laughs> obviously than when I started. Like mm-hmm. I, I had put um, the book uh, Rattan, uh, which is like a YA style sci-fi, mostly sci-fi. It does have some, some kind of magic-y stuff in it, but uh, I had put it out on Vela uh, in that format last year which now means 21. <laughs> so not mm-hmm. last year, the previous year. Yeah. Uh, and, and I let it sit there for a while. Um, you know, it got like one good review and it didn't do much else. Uh, although they paid these really good bonuses for a while, which was interesting. They, like, did. It was just, they were just throwing money at you just for having your story there and getting like one page. But anyway. They were um, trying to chill the. Yeah. Yeah. Just get, and so, get, yeah, we're paying everybody for ridiculous day and, back then. Yeah. Yeah, that was cool. Um, mm-hmm. So then I, I decided right before uh, Hans Schanz's, um, was it the Memorial? Labor Day, Labor Day sale. 
Labor Day like, sale. Oh, I'm going to get this out for for that sale, uh, in in actual ebook format. And so because I've done it several times, it only took me like a couple of days to get everything formatted, kind of cleaned up, get the cover ready, and and just all that stuff, and then um, put it out, made it made it in time. So you know that practice is is valuable too. Thank you so much for checking out this clip from Iron Age Nights. We go live every single Friday at 8 p.m. Central. Our goal is to bring to you the storytellers who are building and creating culture, trying to get away from what the mainstream corporations have subjected us to for so many years now. It would be so awesome if you would like this video and subscribe to the channel if you liked this conversation. And never forget to join us, like I said, on Friday nights. And until next time, cheers, everybody.